Welcome back. Uh, of course, today is the early VIP access for this particular item. So if you click through, you can see it's the new Lego Ideas typewriter set. Um, I'll just click through into the actual page. So it retails at $179.99. It's uh, available now or like all VIP orders and um, not available until the 1st of July in store or for non VIPs although to be fair why you're not a VIP when it doesn't cost you anything I really don't know set number is 21327 and it has 2079 pieces now see it's got the full keyboard there the foot well the full QWERTY keyboard obviously if you're not in the UK or you don't use a Roman script then you could be in trouble um, <laughs> I dread to think what an actual Chinese keyboard looks like but clicking down through because it did remind me of something this is where we're going this is why I'm doing this video so back in 2017 we got Lego Masters UK in the UK and the winners of the first ever season were two gentlemen by the name of Steve Guinness and Nate D Diaz, Diaz, sorry if I'm butchering your name. And we can see here that the submission is actually from Steve Guinness. And yes, it is the same Steve Guinness who won the first season of Lego Masters UK. The reason I mention this is their final master build, their winning build, um was I'm pretty sure it was entitled the inner child or something like that and the whole premise was they built a life-size adult lego lego figure that was sat at his desk at a typewriter it wasn't the full quote you up keyboard almost but not quite i think there was just the o and p missing it wasn't quite the full number of keys and then his back was split open and the child had come out and was sat on the floor playing with toys it was actually really impressive if you are in the uk you can actually still see the only two seasons we've had on all four they're available to stream free of charge and it's actually only about 12 months since i last watched the first season it's only four episodes long so four hours including adverts but as soon as I saw it, it was like, that looks familiar. Where is that come from? Has somebody else taken this guy's idea and just run with it? Um, have Lego maybe just taken his idea and run with it, even though it's under the ideas banner. But no, it seems very much that the same guy has actually just refined the actual build. And then it's obviously gone through ideas. Somehow I suspect it didn't go through the ideas website. I think he may have been asked to refine the idea and work on it a little bit more after winning the show. Um, so that's like, what, four years ago nearly now since they won. So 2017 to 2021, it's quite some time span, but it is a lot, lot more refined. Um, I did go looking for some photos of the winning entry but I, a quick google search i couldn't find an, any quite possibly not using the right search term but they're likely to be copyright images anyway and didn't really want to uh pinch those but yeah it's nice to see that something that was actually really impressive as a build because it was a working typewriter to a fashion it was mechanized it did sort of act like he was busy typing away whilst his inner child was playing so don't think this is a set i'm going to be getting price seems fair enough to me for what you're getting it does look pretty cool yeah i've always had an office job i am old enough to remember using a typewriter but it just doesn't speak to me it's not it's a bit like the grand piano yeah it would be great for the build experience but what am i going to do with it once it's built it's not something i'd be desperate to put on display you know not like the nes where it was like i've got to have that i've got to have that i've got to have that that's going to look great and in fact it does look great at the top of my stairs on the shelving unit it really does but yeah great idea 
looks to be really well executed but no i think i'll give that one a pass which my bank account will be eternally grateful for so thank you very much for listening have a great day and i'll see you again very soon bye bye